talking about Maverick. No, Nike Maverick, not Top Gun, but it still should be interesting, so stick around. Hello and welcome, Eyeglass Tyler here, and today I want to talk to you about the Nike Maverick family. There are three frames in this family, starting with the original Nike Maverick, then we have the Maverick Free, and then the Maverick RGE. I still don't know what that acronym stands for. I should. I apologize. I don't know. But hey, maybe it doesn't stand for anything. Who knows? Well, I want to talk to you about commonalities between these frames and then some key differences between them so that you can decide ultimately if one of these is right for you. That's the goal of this video. I want you to know everything there is to know about these frames and whether or not they are right for you. So let's just get into it. Let's start with things they have in common, commonalities between these frames. They all share this same nose bridge design, which is very unique, and I haven't seen really anywhere else outside of Nike, and I like it, but there are some things to be aware of. It is more of a saddle bridge design. It does have a rubberized, grippy texture to it, but it's a little more rigid, especially on these two. The RGE is a little more unique. I'll get to that in a moment, uh, but if you know of yourself to have trouble with bridge fit when you're buying glasses, be extra careful when you're looking at these frames because it could be perhaps not the best bridge fit for you. It is a great design functionally because it does help to encourage circulation. It helps to minimize fogging, especially when you're more active with these frames. And so it makes sense how they have the design, but it can be an issue in terms of comfort, especially long term when you're wearing them. Uh, so keep that in mind if you know of yourself to have trouble with bridge fit. Another thing they all have in common is that they are all a six base lens. They're a six base frame curvature, which means it's not as wrapped. It's not a true wrap design. It does still give you good coverage. It does still give you uh, good protection for sure. What it does mean is that it is highly RXable. That is to say, you can put prescription lenses in it. And that is very close to our heart at Sport RX because that's our core strength, RX, Sport RX. And so I love that about this frame, uh, all of them actually. And it's tough to find a rimless design like the Maverick Free with a flatter lens. And that does mean that it is more RXable. If you've had trouble finding frames that work for your prescription and you've always wanted that semi-rimless design, this could be a very good option for you. They are all also very lightweight with a durable nylon frame material, and that also means very flexible, especially on the tips of the temples, which also have grip, which I appreciate. So it's going to hold on to your head with, uh, I don't want to say it's going to squeeze your head. Let's say hug. Sounds a little weird, but hey, for maybe some of you, comforting as well. Uh, so it has grip to hold it onto your head and also a little bit of pressure to keep it on, keep it from sliding off of your face which is something you find a lot in sport frames. The tapered temples also do offer a little more hat compatibility. If you like to wear hats because it slides under the hat a little bit better. These all are in the large fit range. I find that it's a pretty versatile large fitting frame. Really and truly, I think, unless you know of yourself to be particularly small or particularly large, these probably should fit you just fine. Now let's talk about the differences. That's always a little more fun, I think. The original Maverick comes with the largest lens of the family. It gives you the most real estate, as I say, in the, uh, in the lens because of especially how deep it goes. And there are some sports that do find this to be very beneficial. I'm thinking specifically about golf, but anything that you're doing where you would benefit from having more lens down lower this is gonna work out well for you. For golf in particular, I know a lot of people like to go for a deeper lens because then when you're addressing the ball, you can still keep your chin up and see the, the ball clearly while looking through the lens and not under the frame. And so I like that. They do all, I wanna admit, I'm, I'm now we're in the talking about differences, but I wanna talk about the common thing that they have is you can tell that they're in the same family because they have the same bridge design, they have the same brow line, uh, but the difference is now let's get back into that with the RGE is that it is a smaller lens in terms of lens height and it is more rectangular in shape, which I find is probably lending itself to more of an everyday pair, more of an all around pair uh, because they are not so large unless you like that oversized aesthetic. 
uh, it is more of a, a commonly designed frame. And like I mentioned about the bridge design on this, is that they do have a bit softer of a material. The rubber material, the grip material on this bridge is a bit softer, and I like that personally. I prefer that because I think it's a little more comfortable, especially for when you're wearing them all day long. When it comes to the Maverick Free, this is the most unique, I think, because of its semi-rimless aesthetic. And also that means that it is interchangeable. You can get this frame, just the one chassis and multiple different lenses for different light conditions or different sports, and you can swap them out as needed. When it comes to size, the original Maverick is an SFW Sport RX frame width of 138. The Maverick Free is 137. The Maverick RGE is 139. So not a huge difference in terms of size between these guys. I think that they would all fit the same person really well. And overall, I think a pretty versatile sized frame, all three of them. Hey, if you're liking this content, you want even more Nike sunglass reviews or information, check out our videos and blogs. We'll put a link in the description below. If you have any additional questions about these frames in particular, or maybe you have prescription needs, be sure to reach out to one of our expert sport RX opticians. We are eagerly awaiting your call. That wraps up what you need to know about the Nike Maverick family. Hopefully now you have a much better idea of what these frames have to offer and what to expect from them. And you have a better idea as to whether or not they are right for you. By the way, if you decide to order from Sport RX, thanks to our See Better guarantee, you never have to worry about getting something that isn't right or doesn't work for you. And you can take as long as 45 days with them to figure that out. You just call us and we will take care of you no matter what that means on our end. Also, like I mentioned, we have opticians who would love to help you get it right the first time. So reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like. You can find relevant videos here and also we are on social media and I would encourage you to check us out there because we have great content there also. And you can find us at SportRx.